Well, I'll be damned. Somebody actually made a nuke. I mean, all right, yeah, we can probably fit this thing in the gas station, right? Oh. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Fireworks Mania, where it's still technically New Year's. I know usually people from all over the world come together around January 1st to say screw you to the past year by trying to blow up the sky, but I figure this year I would try to do things a little bit differently. If you've seen any of my past episodes, you know that I really don't need a special occasion to blow up a barn or a bungalow, but I've never been able to blow up a bowling alley before and now that we've moved on to the big city i'm kind of thinking we might need more literal bang for our buck which is why i waited to celebrate new year's until january 5th when fireworks are deeply discounted come to think of it i'm actually kind of worried that a major metropolitan center like this could have a police presence which would be real bad news for the stuff that I've got planned out. So maybe we'll just start off small. I'm thinking we can begin with something called a screaming pal. Normally, the only thing I see screaming at a bus stop would be a hobo hallucinating. And trust me, you do not want them to be your pal. Oh. Okay. Well. The good news is I don't see any police. Bad news is, well, I'll put it to you this way. You shouldn't light hobos on fire, but if you did, it would have been a whole lot more eventful than that was. Well, just to be sure, I took a look around town and I didn't find a police station, but I did find a hospital for us to blow up. I, I swear there's a very thin line between arsonists and terrorist. And what are you willing to bet that line is made up mostly of exposed gas mains? It's times like these when the name Captain Sensible seems incredibly ironic. Like, don't get me wrong, I know this is overkill, but I'm more so worried about the fact that I'm incriminating myself. Like, I I've heard of criminals leaving behind a calling card, but never an explosive shaped like themselves. <laughs> Fingers crossed that once this all gets lit, there won't be any fireworks left. Or witnesses. Or buildings. If anybody asks, we were out for a midnight walk and the hospital decided to blow itself up, okay? <laughs> no snitches! Oh, come on! No, we got so many Captain Sauce colors, but we didn't blow up the gas main? Oh, wait a second. Don't tell me it's sewage instead. That's so much less fun. I thought I was gonna get egg on my face, but instead it's just human feces. And we blew up the porn store! No! <laughs> Everything sucks. I was about to dive head first into the blaze to see if I could rescue a copy of Little Red Brides the Hood or something, but then I realized that the hospital has a propane tank behind it. Not entirely sure why. It was gas fueled enemas. I'm not even celebrating New Year's at this point, I'm just being vindictful. I'm trying to prove a point. Are you kidding me? So what, the city decided to invest all of its tax money into an invincible hospital and none into police or firefighters? I guess they didn't fully get the last laugh. Leave it to an outdated billboard to remind you of what's important in life and get you back on track. I know I need to stop getting distracted, okay? My objective here isn't to ruin someone's game of SimCity, it's to celebrate 2022. Or say, screw you to 2021. It depends on your outlook on life. No glass half full, glass half detonated. Come to think of it, I like the idea of big buildings and even bigger explosions, but I really want to make these buildings shake. And I'm not talking like tree in the wind kind of shake. I'm talking like wet t-shirt contest on the North Pole kind of shake. I think Burger Tower might be a good place for us to start, but unfortunately I can't find Tim. Like anywhere, he's on every map. If you've never seen Fireworks Mania before, Tim is... Pretty much a hole in the ozone layer waiting to happen. So without Tim's help today, we may need to turn to the newly implemented workshop, 
where anybody can upload their own fireworks, which means this was made under no regulations, no safety protocols. The Blink-O 165 could be a complete wet fart. It could be a nuke. I don't know if Burger Tower is go. Oh yeah, probably shouldn't have put it directly underneath the burger. Oh, this isn't so bad. It's a little dangerously close to the face. That's why is there always a gas station within pissing distance when I'm blowing stuff up? God damn it, this is not what I signed up for. Well, I'll be damned, somebody actually made a nuke. I mean, all right, yeah, we can probably fit this thing in the gas station, right? Ooh. <laughs> Don't they typically drop this shit out of planes? Like, how am I supposed to light this? Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, this would have been one of those situations where I should have used a fuse. Why am I running? As if I could possibly get far away enough. Let's just get a good view. <laughs> Holy crap! Uh... Wow! That was so much better than anything I could have ever accomplished using fireworks. <laughs> is the screen screwed up or is it my retinas? I think we did a pretty good job celebrating New Year's because the sky seems to be on fire. Why is my first inclination to set off two of them at once now? Even though we might need to find a new gas station for that. Holy crap. So did it just level like everything? Or not? I mean, the city is a little messed up, but it just looks like a strong wind came through here. What is up with this town? Okay, I'm really happy I didn't try to blow up the Coca-Cola factory or the police station. Jesus Christ, there actually was. I missed it. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job in there, guys. I was gonna say, at least I didn't waste all my time trying to blow this shit up using bottle rockets. If a nuke only managed to singe the shrubbery, then I wouldn't have gotten very far. Ridiculous. Is this a stupid idea? This is a stupid idea, isn't it? This is a fucking stupid idea. I swear to Christ if I lose this recording. <laughs> Why do I do this? I'm telling you guys right now, I'm only doing this once, and every like on this video is a prayer that it actually works. I don't know which god is gonna listen to me, but I was smart enough to use fuses this time. And kind of slowish fuses, in fact, so the nukes won't go off right away. First, we're gonna celebrate with some fireworks. And then you can't really see the fuse anymore, so we're gonna be left suffering with what some may call anticipation, others pants shitting terror. Are the oh there we go, there the fireworks. Okay, and now the waiting game. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna all go white. My computer's gonna turn off and then head for the bus stop. Hang out with the hallucinating hobo. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, you can't do that with a regular nuke. Huh. Well, may have fudged space time there, but this, this is actually really bad, it's... <laughs> it's not doing any- Ooh. Okay. Uh... I swear to God if the city is left standing after this. The fireworks are still going though, what troopers? Okay, well if the copious amounts of Mountain Dew weren't gonna stop me from having children in the future, I'm sure the radiation will get the job done. I think there's something wrong with my neck. Maybe I'm growing more necks? How? I don't understand. Like, I see one little fire over there by what I assume used to be the gas station, but other than that, everything is somehow fine? I just looked around the entire city. There are dog houses, bird houses, tree houses. Everything survived perfectly intact, except for the gas station. I don't know why they think it's a good idea to serve up flammable liquid from something made of Lincoln logs, but it, it just falls apart. <laughs> I guess we'll continue checking out new fireworks on the workshop, since apparently this entire city is made out of Wolverine's bones. We've got Triplex Tears from Heaven. That's an interesting name for a 
very big box of explosives. Okay, I like it. Let's see what you do. I I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to run. I'm like looking down into the box as I light it. Oh. Okay. We got some screamers. We've got some color. We've got some explosions. Interesting. That's actually kind of nice. More so a, a, a firework show in a box as opposed to a singular firework. Oh. I completely forgot. My main enemy in this game hasn't been the gas stations. We've thwarted them more times than I can count. It's been to get to the moon. Oh, I really want to try to fly today, but <laughs> something tells me a nuke isn't going to help me, and neither is this beautiful show. How did somebody make this? I kind of want to make my own fireworks in the workshop, but I'm pretty sure they would... Let's be honest, they would all just end up being more nukes. We've seen all of the new cakes, but there are also tubes? I'm not really sure what these are. We've got uh, Saturn 3-inch white. And please, save your lowbrow dick jokes. I've also picked up a Saturn yellow and green, and a Saturn red and yellow, I think. Captain Sauce colors. Oh. That's cool. So I wonder if I was far enough away, rather than being below it, would it actually look like a ring around Saturn? By the way, if you like Captain Sauce colors, you can go to CaptainSauceMerch.com and pick up some shirts, because I haven't said that in a while. Uh, excuse me. Could you please stop rolling away? I swear what you guys are looking at right now is not a free-range dildo. It's an amazing granny, and I just need it to set off what will hopefully be a ringed planet. It actually works. That's, again, really surprising, because this isn't stuff that's made by the developers. It's just people who designed their own fireworks. I don't understand how. Is that it? I set up, like, five of them. Why am I so bad at blowing things up today? Oh, maybe the fuse was too long? Why is the fuse moving at the speed of smell? It's a good thing I noticed that. I would have thought the Russians were attacking. Okay, you know what, the nuke is really cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm excited for a more old-fashioned explosion, like a barrel of TNT. I could easily set that down in a gas station, right? Just pop you there, light you, run away like the cartoon villain that I am, and... Is it a dud? It's just- oh, okay! Wasn't a dud, just a little too old-fashioned. <laughs> you think that gas station bathroom survived? I could use some new pants. I still feel like for a game that's all about blowing stuff up, this has to be a gas main. There's no way it's just random sewage. Why would they put the explosive sticker on the bottom? I mean, don't get me wrong, I knew TNT was explosive, but... <laughs> who's gonna see it there? There we go. Who's TNT now? ACDC can suck a fart out my ass. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and light you. And it apparently takes a minute, so we'll just go hide. Not behind the dumpsters with the propane tank, probably somewhere else. <laughs> I just really want that to be gas. I know we blew up a gas station, so we- oh. We've already seen what gas does, but uh, no dice. Yep, it's just sewage. Bummer. Well, this is interesting. Missing. Last seen at the ranch. Have you seen Carl's son? I'm not 100% sure what that reference is, but I've never seen anything like that before. The explosive or the poster. I mean, for a second, I thought it was a wanted poster for me, as if they'd ever take me alive. One thing stood out among all of the weapons that I've downloaded, and it's the Moab... Mizzle? Not missile? Mother of all bombs, Mizzle. I'm hoping that it's a missile because I would love to put it in a dumpster and send the dumpster into space. Uh, maybe I can, ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Back it up, a little something like uh, that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that might work. I don't think the dumpster likes that, but I sure do. Okay, yep, it's not taking off. Well, it was nice knowing you folks. 
Unless it also is a dud. Wow, is it? Oh my god! <laughs> why, why is it always to bait me so goddamn hard? <laughs> okay. Well then. Uh, again, think that's permanent vision damage. Okay, hold up a second. Uh. What? Huh. Yeah, the, the dumpster didn't reach the moon, but I seem to have gone in the opposite direction. What the Christ? I've managed to rejoin the surface dwellers, but I'm still left wondering what was supposed to happen with this. Like, if I didn't impregnate a dumpster with it and instead aimed it directly at my enemies, like that, then I liked you. And I probably don't even need to take steps back because you should take off. Yes, yeah, oh, okay, um, not quite the trail I was looking for. Did I just blow up? Oh, that's not good. May have just blown up the neighborhood. Okay, um, yep, not responsible for that. All right, you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Fireworks Mania, guys. It seems like the workshop has introduced a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna to wanna to check out, as well as the developer having added stuff to past maps, and maybe stuff that I've missed in this map. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return for another New Year's that isn't quite New Year's. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.